Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at the evolution of Team Four Wheel Drive Piston Cup Racers from the Cars Trilogy. Johnny Blammer, Tommy Highbanks, and Herb Kerbler. Now before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let me discuss something. So. <clears throat> Throughout the years of the Piston Cup, there had been there has been a number of team four-wheel drive racers with the traditional number 54 sponsored by four-wheel drive the dirt decals and the traditional paintwork green with blue and light brown and yellow and white with different Piston Cup drivers preceding the previous ones year by year. Years by years, I meant to say. And, and now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review for each one of them. First, we're going to start with Johnny Blammer. So, Johnny Blammer is a Capital Motors Verve XT Piston Cup racer that began his Piston Cup career as a rookie in 1995 and during his appearance in the first Cars film he w would go on to participate in the Danico 400 of the 2005 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway of the South. He was also one of the racers to get involved into the multi-car wreck caused by Chick Hicks. And even though he got involved into the wreck itself, he was able to finish the race. And during his diecast releases, he was released a number of times with rubber tires and with plastic tires, especially in 2017, and hasn't gotten a re-release ever since. And now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here I've got his angry, determined facial expression his blue interior paintwork, no grill, the headlight stickers with a number 50, yellow number 54 on one of them. We've got the green exterior paintwork, and on the hood, we've got the four wheel drive logo saying four wheel drive dirt deck cows and the slogan just like off road and the bit of light brown background. And on the top, we've got the yellow number 54 covered in tire tracks. No name signature. And on both sides, we got the yellow number 54, the forest background, and the, the four wheel drive logo saying four wheel drive dirt deck house and for suburban SUVs, and the gas cap, and the exhaust pipes, and the several contingency logos saying Pistic Cup, Nitroid, Revolting, Octagane, Mood Springs, Vitally, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Returning Clutch Aid. We've got the white spoiler in the white interior. And on the trunk, we've got the four wheel drive logo and the light brown and green background. And on the back, we've got the four wheel drive logo saying four wheel drive. And the slogan, just like off road, and the forest background and the, the red taillights with a yellow number 54 on one of them. Oh, and the on the undercarriage, we have Disney slash Pixar, made in China, Mattel. And that is it for Johnny Blammer. Up next is Tommy Highbanks from Cars 3. So, Tommy Highbanks is an Axello Fijan EA Piston Cup racer that previously replaced Johnny Blammer as the four wheel drive racer number 54 between 2006 and 2015. During his appearance in Cars 3, he would go on to participate in the Danico Light 350 of the 2016 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway of the South. Then in October of 2016, when Next Gen Racers began dominating the Piston Cup circuit, he was, he was eventually dropped by his sponsor. And during his diecast releases, 
He was released a few times as a single and in a multi-pack. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his happy, friendly facial expression, his green exterior paintwork, the grill, and the working headlights, and the yellow number 54 underneath. And on the hood, we've got the light brown background, the four-wheel drive logo saying four-wheel drive dirt deck house. And on the top, we've got the light brown with the yellow number 54 covered in tire tracks, no-name signature. And on both sides, we've got the black rims on the black wall light your racing tires, the yellow number 54 with a forest background, the four-wheel drive logo saying four-wheel drive dirt deck house, and the gas cap, and the few contingency logos saying piston cup, vitaline, revolting, RPM, nitrate, octane gaining, clutch shade, the red arrow at the bottom. And on the trunk, we've got the light brown background and the four-wheel drive logo saying four-wheel drive, dirt deck house, and the slogan for urban SUVs, and the green spoiler, the, and the spoiler with green on the front and yellow on the back. And speaking of the back, on the back we have the four-wheel drive logo and the light blue background and the red working headlights and the working red taillights, I meant to say, and the camera in the middle. And on the back bumper we have a bit of green and brown background and the slogan Dirt Deck House and the yellow number 54. And on the right side we have the exhaust pipe. And on the undercarriage it says Mattel Disney slash Pixar made in China. And that is it for Tommy Highbanks. And finally, here we have Herb Kerbler from Cars 3. So, Herb Kerbler is a next gen Piston Cup racer who previously replaced Tommy Highbanks as the four wheel drive racer number 54 since October of 2016. And during his appearance in Cars 3, like I said, he previously replaced Tommy Highbanks as the four-wheel drive racer number 54 in October of 2016. Then in February of 2016, he would later he would be later be one of the racers to participate in the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season at Florida International Speedway and was able to finish the race. And now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his grumpy facial expression, his dark green exterior paintwork, and the no grill, and the working headlights, and and the darker green background, and the tire tracks on the hood, and the new four-wheel drive logo saying four-wheel drive, extreme dirt deck cows, and a bit of blue interior, and on the top we've got the yellow number 54 and are over some tire tracks, no name signature, and on the spoiler we have a bit of darker green and the four wheel drive logo, and on both sides we've got the yellow number 54 and yellow at the bottom, the red arrow, the yellow number 54, the exhaust pipes, the four wheel drive logo and the gas cap and black rims on the next gen light year racing tires next gen light year black wall light year racing tires I should say and a few contingency logos saying piston cup combustor carbon cyber and synergy and a bit of blue interior and on the back side we've got the red tail lights and a bit of black in between the yellow number 54 at the bottom and the four-wheel drive logo also at the bottom and we have the yellow rookie stripes meaning that he's a rookie and on the undercarriage we have Mattel 
Disney slash Pixar made in China. And that is it. All the team four wheel drive piston cup racers from the entire Cars trilogy. So what do you guys think? Which team four wheel drive racer is your favorite? Johnny Blammer? Tommy Highbanks from Cars 3? Or Herb Kerbler from Cars 3? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And to give you a heads up, the Coca-Cola 600 has been postponed due to bad weather last evening. So it will start at 3 p.m. on Channel 8 Fox to at 3 p.m. o'clock today. So I hope to see, you, to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!